What's up guys? So today I'm going to be doing an installation guide for setting up Xlink Kai on Windows 8.1. That is the operating system I am running. But if you're running Windows 7, this should be pretty standard and pretty simple to uh, pretty simple to uh, under, to be able to understand. All right. So, anyways, um, now this guide is going to be assuming that you already have Xlink installed in your computer. I already have an installed on my computer. I will be in, uninstalling it first. So, if you already have Xlink on your computer but had issues with trying to get it set up with System Link games like Halo 2 or Halo Combat Evolved then you should definitely start from this point. Okay, so the first things first, we're going to click start, go to control panel, go to uninstall the program, and scroll down your list until you find Xlink Kai, and highlight it and click uninstall. Okay, after this you'll be presented with the setup, the setup installer, which will ask you to modify we're not going to do a repair, we're going to be doing an uninstall completely. Okay, so once that's done, uh, might take a few moments to uninstall, but once you get set up successful, you're good. So go ahead and close out of that window, and close out of this window as well. Alright, now we're going to click, uh, go to your web browser, and go to teamxlink.co.uk. And once you've arrived to their web page, click on Downloads. And you can either pick the operating system that it detected, which in most cases is always correct. But if you're not 100% for certain, you can always go to the Dropbox and select the, the operating system instead. Since I'm running Windows 8.1, I'm going to select Windows and hit Download. And I'm going to save this to my desktop, or you can save it to whatever target you want. Just make sure you remember where you saved it to. Okay. Once the download finishes, you can do one of two things. You can either click on the EXE or the the setup icon down below, or you can click start and browse the directory where you download it to and launch the EXE from there. I'll be clicking from the the setup below from from Chrome. Okay, I'm also going to go ahead and close out Chrome while I edit. Okay, so here's the installer, and this is the terms of service and use. You read all that, good stuff. Agree to that, and then click install. Good. All right, setups and all successful, so I can close. All right, now before we actually launch the program, we need to change the user account control, and we're also going to need to change the compatibility uh, compatibility version for the program. This is mainly for Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. If you're on Windows 7, you probably won't have to do this, but I will go in a little bit further detail right now. All right, so the first things first, we're going to change the user account control. User account control is used to provide administrative level rights on the computer. So click start and in the search box type user account control and you'll see change user account control settings. Click that. By default, the bar will be from the top from second from the above. And you will see that it will say says notify me when only when apps try to make changes to my computer. This is the default setting that your Windows comes with. Basically, you would this what the what this controls is anytime you try to set up or install a program on a computer, you're always presented with a pop-up box that ask you, are you sure you want to install this? Are you sure you want to install that? This actually controls that. Now, this doesn't 100% make a real difference with the Kai installation, but having full administrative rights over what you do on your computer, I find to be extremely important. And I do suggest you reducing this to never not never notify. Now, this is not recommended only for the sense that you have to be cautious with what the programs you're installing, because now Windows won't prompt you after you click the launcher program are you sure you want to launch? It's just going to go ahead and start it up. So you're more susceptible to viruses if you're not careful. If you don't want to switch this down, that is perfectly understandable. But for the sake of this video and for what setup I'm running on my computer, that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to set it to never, never notify, and this will give me complete administrative access on my computer. I'm going to click OK. 
All right. So once that's done, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Start All Programs. I'm going to scroll down until I see Excellent Kai folder. And then where it says Start Kai, I'm going to right click on that and hit Properties. All right. So this is the Start Kai Properties window. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the Compatibility tab. And right where it says run this program in compatibility mode 4, this box is probably going to be grayed out by default like this. I want you to go ahead and check that box. Now this is for Windows 8, Windows 8.1. If you're on Windows 8 or 8.1, I want you to reduce the compatibility mode to at least Windows 7. If you're on Windows 7, you really shouldn't have to reduce compatibility. However, if you feel like you need to, reduce the compatibility to Windows Vista Service Pack 2. But Windows 7 I found to, to be um, quite more compatible than Windows 8. So you really shouldn't have to reduce it. But if you're running into issues, go ahead and reduce it anyways. Once you've reduced the compatibility mode, go ahead and click Apply. Once that is done, click OK. Now, click Start. Go to All Programs. Go to Excellent Kai folder and click Start Kai. This will open up a web user interface within your default web browser. By default, if you do not have an X tag created, you will need to create an X tag at this point. Since I already have an X tag set on my computer, I don't have to do that, but I will show you how to do that as well. This is only if you don't have a username and password set up with Xlink. If you already have that, you can ignore this step. For those who do not have an X tag and password set with Xlink, you'll need to do this. Create a new tab or window. Go to teamxlink.co.uk. And once you get to the website, click the Sign Up button. At this point, you will start filling in the fields needed and whatever other things you want to put in. The only thing that's really needed is the stuff that's asterisks like your username, password, confirm your password your email, location, age, and bandwidth. And I'll also just go ahead and check Microsoft Xbox, um, especially for those who are coming here mainly for Halo 2. Now, a key note for those who are registering Xlink accounts prior to this video is that you will need to use a Gmail or a, you will need to use a Gmail account just for the sake of simplicity. Currently they're having issues with all Microsoft based email accounts and Yahoo email accounts. So Gmail, and there's some few others, but Gmail is probably going to be one of the easiest ones to get a hold of. That doesn't take long to set up. Once you create your Gmail account, go back and fill out all this information. You will be prompt with a user registration key, which will be sent to that email address, which you'll then have to, uh, which you'll have to click on. It'll be a web link. And once that's been verified, your account is ready to go. All right. Now that my account is ready to go, and I've started Kai, at this point, there will be a box that will say your uh, username and password. You would fill in all that stuff that you just created, and you would log in. Once you've logged in successfully, you'll be presented to the general chat area. This is the very first place that Xlink starts up at. Now, once you get here, we got one more thing we really need to do before we get set up to try out Halo 2 on the Xbox. All right. So at this point, I'm going to click contacts. Oh, not contacts. Excuse me. I'm going to click the green dotted circle at the upper left corner of the screen. This will bring up the Xlink Kai configuration tool. You will only need to go here probably once, maybe twice. You won't really have to mess with this stuff too much. But the key thing is to set this up the first time so you don't really run into issues from then on out. Okay, so once I'm at the configuration tool, leave the user interface to web UI. Then scroll down to network settings. And this is probably going to be the biggest part here is the network adapter. Now, by default, I am connected to my, my Xbox is connected to my computer using an Ethernet cable. For the sake of this video, I will be doing the same thing over Ethernet. So you will need to know the name of your Ethernet 
you'll need to know the name of your Ethernet driver or your Ethernet port name. It is basically made by the manufacturer. My port is named Broadcom Next Stream Gigabit Ethernet Driver. Yours will probably obviously be listed different, so you will need to go and figure out the name of that. If you do not know the name of it or you're not entirely too sure, here's the easy way to figure that out. Click Start, go to Control Panel. Go to Network and Internet. Once you're at Network and Internet, click Network and Sharing Center. Once you're at Network and Sharing Center, click Change Adapter Settings. And once you are here, all you have to do is check for in Windows 8 and 8.1, it by default lists your Ethernet port as Ethernet and it lists your wireless port as Wi Fi. So find your Ethernet and find the name that's going to be listed right here. Right where it says Unidentified Network, below that will be the name of your Ethernet port. This is the name that you will need to find in Xlink. So once you've found that name, go back to your web browser where the Kai Configuration Tool is still up and switch it to that name. The port should remain zero, the deep port should remain undefined, the web UI port should remain, un should remain the same, 34522. Now, under Packet Capture Engine, make sure that when PCAP is selected. By default, it should be selected. Also, make sure that you have when PCAP installed. When PCAP, as of this video, its latest version is 4.1.3. If you do not have 4.1.3, then you will need to uninstall what previous version you have, if any, and then go to the when PCAP org website. So to check on what WinPCAP version you have, click Start, type in WinPCAP, and if you have it installed, the uninstaller will pop up. Obviously this will denote the version that's on your computer. As of this video, 4.1.3 is the latest. Make sure you have the latest installed. If you have anything below this or anything that is different from this wording, go ahead and click on the uninstaller go through the uninstallation process until you uninstall off your computer and then go back to your web browser and create a new tab or window and go to winpcap.org and click download get winpcap and it should say right here version 4.1.3 install from windows click on this to download and then launch it and install it and then you'll come back to the step to the Kai configuration tool Okay, so assuming you now have WinPCAP's latest 4.1.3 version installed, you're now going to return back to the Kai Configuration Tool section. So the Packet Capture Engine, WinPCAP should be, radio should be bubbled in. Go ahead and check Enable PAT. It's called Packet Address Translation. I'm not going to really get into details about it. It may improve the NAT connectivity between players. So always, you know, just go ahead and just keep this checked or go ahead and check it. It should be blanked out by default. And your default X tag and default password, you can fill this in if you're on your own personal computer. Um, if you don't want other family members or friends accessing your X-Link account right off the bat, leave this blank. But if you fill this in, make sure you fill in the, and make sure you check in the auto login box. Because what this does is, instead of always starting Kai up and having to put in your username and password, it will automatically log in with whatever is filled in here. Make sure you close engine when UI is checked, and the other three stuff can be left unchecked. And I would recommend leaving all three of these boxes unchecked. Default profiles, just leave this blank. Character set should be Western, otherwise you may not be able to understand what's being displayed. And the language should obviously be set to English um, for most cases. But if you have a, you speak a different language, there are German, English, Spanish, Japanese, Korean, Dutch, and Chinese available. Okay, once you have that all is filled out, click Save. And you'll be returned back to the Kai General Chat. Now, at this point, your Xbox should be on. You should probably be in Halo 2. And that's, I'm going to go ahead and start up my Halo 2 now. Okay, so what you're going to do at this point is make sure that your Xbox is plugged in to your computer via Ethernet. Also, if you have any static IP addresses set to your Xbox, make sure it is set to automatic at this time.
Okay, so if you set any IP address to your Xbox from for whatever reason in the past, make sure you switch it to automatic. If you need help with that, just let me know in the comments below. Anyhow, so now we're going to go to Game Arenas. Xlink Kai uses a directory-based game game listings. It's a little different from XBC in that sense. Uh, how XBC lists all the games to the left, Excellent Kai lists everything starting from the console downward. So we're going to go to Game Arenas, find the console, which since I'm going to be doing Halo 2, I'm going to select Xbox. Since Halo 2 is a first person shooter, I'm going to select the genre, first person shooter. And down at this point, it will list all the titles that they support, and I'm going to find Halo 2. Okay, now pick your country that you want. Uh, obviously this will help you locate, uh, have better pings and better connectivities with the country of your choice. So I'm going to pick North America and I'm going to go to the MLG lobby since there's people in there just for the sake of trying to connect. Okay. Alright, so at this point, once I, got, once I have this situated, in the lobby and I can see other people and I see pings of people. The ping is denoted by colors. Green is good, yellow is okay, and red is you're probably going to have lag between that player. Once you create that, once you have this situated and you're in this lobby, at this point you can actually switch over to your Xbox and go into the system link feature and be able to, like games just start popping up pretty much. And the reason why is because with X-Link, you don't necessarily have to create a private, a private room, aka the host hosting feature of XBC. You don't have to necessarily do that in X-Link. You can do that, as you know right over here where it says TRK, with this little pencil button, which allows you to create a private arena. And you know you would set the password to the room if you want only certain people to come in, the maximum players, and description. Okay, so at this point, once I have that situated, I can now hop over to the Xbox, which I'm about to do right now. Give me one second. So I'm switching over to my Elgato game capture. You're probably going to see the screen freeze for a second. That's okay. That's just how it works. Okay. And here I am in my Xbox. And here is an available game that was created in this directory. So that's how you do it. And at this point, I would press A and join. It's that simple. All right. So um, if you have connectivity issues with players, make sure that you can see their ping. If you do not see their ping, then that means that they're not reachable. Like your yourself is not reachable to that person. So since Pregnant Nun's game was available, if for one, if it if I don't have any ping at all, like if I click on his name and it has no ping here, like give it a couple seconds, but if it still doesn't display anything, then that means the person is unreachable. And either you would need a port forward or they would need a port forward or there's a NAT issue that's causing you to not be able to connect. So try other users. Um, you might be able to find a friend that you can connect to that the other person can connect to too and that would work just fine. Alright guys, so if you have any questions with, with setting up X-Link, if you have more issues with it, let me know in the comments below. And you can also contact me at Twitter. I will also provide my Twitter handle below as well. Alright, thanks guys for watching my video. I hope it helps out, and I hope it gets you guys set up and running for X-Link. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video.